my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make the wild room uh, in LOL. That uh, last month uh, they showed, showed us some kind of a bigger animation about uh, their games. And uh, I like uh, some character inside like Chess and Jinx. And uh, so I made this effect because I'm interested. You can check when I render this, it will be like this, and uh, I think it's uh, a little similar. And uh, if you check this without color, it will be like this. And now I think it looks uh, good, and also it has animation. So I think, it, yeah, I like it. So today I will show you how to make this. It's very simple, and uh, this tutor tutorial is very short because it's too much simple. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's go to Blender 4.3 and uh, let's delete this cube and uh, use a plane. I will use this plane as a demonstration. So here, let's go to Geometry node and press New, Create a Geometry node. So the most important node here is uh, split to instance and uh, change it to face and uh, now I think most of you if you are familiar with the geometry nodes you will know what I will do so I will use noise and compare so compare I think maybe 0 0.5 if it's bigger than that it will be deleted so everything disappeared so, so that, that's normal because we have uh, two less subdivision so I will subdivide it like a one, two, three. You can see that if I increase the number, it will have more details. If I change it to like seven, I, I think seven, seven is good. So I will keep it seven. So you can tweak this number as you want. So the second, I will show you. Uh, you need to con connect the scene time here. So to make the animation. So, and you may need a mass node because if you connect to second directly, it will the animation will be very fast. So maybe sometimes you don't want it. So here I don't want it. So I multiply like 0 0.03, yeah, like that. It's changing much slower. And here in vector, you can connect a position. So, and you can use separate separate XYZ and uh, combine XYZ and connect them and use mass node like if you I will show you if you multiply them like 0 0.5 0 0.1 uh, you will like stretch them I will control Z and uh, if you add something like this you, it will be like this you will move the noise so it, it depends on you to use them. So here I think 0 0.5 is okay. And, and the noise texture, ah, we need to save it. For the noise, I think uh, there are two less noise. I will make more noise, like uh, 20, 20, maybe 10. 10 is okay. So this part here is like the basic structure. Uh, basic shape, I think. So, our final effect is based on this shape. So, the second is set position. We will use set position and uh, we will use position here. And here, the most important is blur, blur attribute. Change it to vector. So, connect it to value and connect it it to position here so if you increase the iteration nothing changed that's normal uh, you know why because uh, let's check the spreadsheet here I click the this one upper one you will find uh, there is an instance here so you can't do anything to instance normally you can't so if we want to make, make this we will need a realize instance here 
and uh, before I put this uh, between the nodes, uh, you can focus on the focus on the image upside. So let's put it on and check. So magic happened. So it worked, and uh, let's play the animation. It will be like this. So this I think too much iteration. Like I will change it to three hundred. 200, 100, you will have different animations. So it depends on you. So I think this animation looks perfect. I like it. So you can join them here. This is the final effect. So this tutorial is very simple, very short. Now it's all finished. So I hope uh, you like uh, this animation and uh, here I will say Happy New Year to all of you. So this is uh, today's tutorial. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.